Pastor Pat, I'm excited you guys have decided to join me this morning. I want you to get your Bible, and I want you to get your cereal or your pancakes or whatever, and meet me back here, okay? We're going to cover another topic dealing with the new year and what God desires for us to do to start the new year off right. So I'll meet you right back here. See you in a minute. Bye-bye. Let's 
asked me Jonah who told the people what God wanted him to say. God told Jonah to go to Nineveh, but he went the other way. Jonah got on a boat and sailed into the sea. God sent a big storm while Jonah was sleeping. The sailors were scared and asked, why would this be? Then Jonah said, the storm is because of me the sails threw Jonah over the side of the boat the storm stopped at once and the ship was kept afloat Jonah was swallowed by a great big fish he was in his belly going swish 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 the fish swam along for three days and nights Jonah said he was sorry and that he would make it right So God ordered the fish to spit Jonah out And Jonah told the people what God was all about When the people of Nineveh heard what he had to say they stopped doing bad things and changed their wicked ways God saved the people of Nineveh from a really bad fate Jonah learned to obey God and what it was like to be fish bait Okay, guys, I'm back. Are we ready? Okay, we're going to get started. And of course, we're going to pray first. Okay? Father, we come before you. We thank you for this day. We ask in Jesus' name, Father God, that through the Spirit, Lord God, 
that you would touch our hearts and our minds and help us to hide your word in our heart. Father God, I pray that we will apply this to our life and they will come back to our remembrance when we need it the most. Father, we thank you right now for every hearer, Lord God, that is listening to the Sunday School lesson. We ask you to bless them, keep them. Lord God, we thank you for this and all things in your precious son, Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, we're going to get started. And our lesson this morning is called 2020 Vision. Okay, 2020 Vision. And what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word 2020 Vision? Okay. Our sight, right? Okay. So let's see what the lesson is talking about. And it starts off with our scripture for today. And it's coming out of Matthew chapter 28. Verses 16 through 20. Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 through 20. And it's basically talking about the Great Commission. And anybody know what commission is? It's basically an assignment that is given to someone to tell them to go and do something. Okay? And it's not like, you know, if you want to. It's like, go and do it. Okay? So what? this is what Matthew chapter 16. Chapter 28, verses 16 through 20 says, and it starts like this. Matthew 28, verses 16 through 20. I'm saying this because I want you guys to follow with me. If you're not, I need you to listen. All righty? And this is what it says. It says, then the 11 disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. It says, when they saw him, they worshiped him, him as in Jesus. But some even doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples. Very famous scripture. Of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. And teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end. So what Jesus was basically telling the disciples, he, he was letting them know, hey, I have been given all authority. So take away your doubt. Stop thinking or double thinking. And just accept the fact I have been given all authority. And because I have been given authority, I now give that to you. And that's what a commission is. Go and do what I say. And he basically tells them, go out into the world, baptizing it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go to all nations. And he said, guess what else? I will be with you. So he let them know you won't be doing it by yourself. I will be with you as well. So we should go in confidence and be very proud when we go out and share the gospel of Jesus Christ to other people, guys, okay? We should never be afraid and never be ashamed. Once we open our mouth, God basically takes over. The Holy Spirit basically takes over and give us the words to say. So God just want us to be obedient and just speak. Amen? So now we're going to get into the lesson. Because now we know what the Great Commission is, right? An assignment. Go and do it. And don't worry about the consequences. Don't worry about what's going to happen. I'm with you. And this is what the lesson says. It says, 2020 vision. It says, that missionary was good today, Cheryl told her mother as they arrived home from church. I think missionaries have such an exciting life, traveling far away and seeing strange places and different people. And they get to give the gospel to people who have never heard it before. That would be neat. Maybe I'll be a missionary someday. I hope God calls me to Japan. Just then the phone rang and mother answered. After a moment, she held her hand over her mouth. Cheryl, she said, Miss Fisher would like for you to go with her on youth visitation next Friday. She wants to visit some young girls who have just moved into our neighborhood. I want to go skating Friday, said Cheryl. Anyhow, I don't know what to say to those girls. Do I have to go? Mother spoke into the phone. Cheryl will call you back later, Miss Fisher. Hanging up the phone, she turned to her daughter. Remember what the autonomous... Optimus said when they had, when you had your eye appointment last week? Yes. He said, I had 20-20 vision, she replied. And that means I have perfect eyesight. At 20 feet, I can see what the normal person sees from that distance. Right, said mother. And I'm glad you have 20-20 vision in your eyes. But I'm just, 
just been thinking about your missionary vision. It seems to me you have been, you have become farsighted. Cheryl Bean, you mean because I'm interested in mission work in faraway places, that's good, isn't it? Cheryl, yes. Mother shook her head, but not exactly, she replied. A person who eyes are farsighted can't see objects up close very well. You are excited about going far away to tell people about Jesus, but you are not interested in some girls on the next block. If you can't be a good witness here, do you suppose you can make a good witness far away? Think about it, guys. She wanted to go and be a missionary far, far away to another country like Japan. But there was a girls two or three blocks up the street that needed to be told about, shared about Jesus Christ as well. So, you know, even though God doesn't use us to be missionaries and travel around the world, we can be missionaries right in our neighborhood, even right next door sometimes. We can be a missionary in our classroom, on the bus, in the cafeteria, on our job. Wherever we are, guys, we can be a missionary. So here's the question I present to you guys. Think about this. Are you interested in someday taking the gospel to faraway countries? Would you like to be a missionary? Because guess what? That's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. We need missionaries to travel all over the world and share, share the gospel to people that have never heard the gospel before. There are still people around the world that still need to hear the gospel. So that's a good thing. But we have to also remember, guys, that there are people still here in our neighborhood, in our community, that haven't heard the gospel either. So we don't want to be farsighted and, and just think about things far away. But God wants us to also realize there's people right here in our neighborhood that needs to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ as well. It says, but are you so farsighted that you don't see the people around you who need to hear about Jesus as well? Okay. It says, ask the Lord to open your eyes to see the souls you can reach right here and now. Get 2020 vision. God wants to get 20-20 vision so we can see people and pray about people and even have that desire to one day go into the far off places. But he also wants us to see the people right here around us. There are many, 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 many hurting people right here where we are that needs to know the, the gospel of Jesus Christ, that needs to know that Christ died for them, that needs to be shared their commission, that needs to be preached the gospel and let them know that Jesus Christ died for them. That Jesus Christ rose for them. That Jesus Christ loves them. And that no matter where they are in their life, that Jesus can come in and turn their life around. And all they have to do is just come to him and repent. And ask him into their life. And God will come in and God will change your life. Because guess what, guys? What is impossible with man is not impossible with God. It's, the word says all things are possible through Christ. If we just believe. So we can share the gospel. But let's not limit it to faraway places. Let's remember, God can use us right here now in our neighborhood, guys. Okay? And here is, is a scripture I want you guys to listen to. Okay? It also says in John chapter 4, verse 35, guess what it says? It says, do you not say four months more and then the harvest? I tell you, open your eyes and look at the fields. They are ripe for harvest. Do you know what that's saying? Well, I got plenty of time, you know. That's what it basically saying. People are saying, I got plenty of time, you know, you know, a couple of months from now. God says, no. Open your eyes. Open your spiritual eyes and look around you. There are people right now that needs to hear the gospel. It says the harvest is plentiful. That means there are lost souls out there, guys, that needs to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. But the workers are few. So God want to use you. He want to use you. He want to use me to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Okay? So be open and be willing that when God lay on your heart to share Christ with someone, do it. And God will give you the words because he just told us in Matthew. Remember Matthew 28? Look what he said. And I will be with you. So if God is with us, we are good. Amen? So let's share the gospel, not only to far away places, but right here in our neighborhood. And you guys have a blessed day, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.
All right, hello, my name is Justin Michael Ratliff, son of Corey Ratliff, and um, <clears throat> I will be doing you guys' verse today. And so, the verse that we'll be doing is John 4, 35, and I'm going to read it. Do you not say, there are yet four months, then comes the harvest? Look, I tell you, lift up your eyes and see that the fields are white for harvest. All right, so... Yeah, that was you guys' verse for today, and um, yeah, hope you have a nice day. Sometimes it's hard to wait for all the things that I want. Sometimes I kind of feel like it's just taking too long. That you're working it out I'm gonna hold up Slow down I'm gonna trust That you're working it out